So one, your own goals, right? So are your goals like, you know, like what kinds of things are you looking for? Now, part of it is, hey, hey, my, my job's really stable. I'm really happy with it. I look around, my industry is stable, my company is stable. Great, maybe, maybe staying here is exactly where you should be. It isn't that, it isn't change for change's sake. It's change because it's the right thing relative to your goals. But you might look around and say, oh, actually, in fact, my industry is, is dropping off a cliff. And even if my company is really good and everything else, this whole thing is not going to be as interesting as the next thing. So kind of classic within media is like, well, maybe actually, in fact, I should be doing this other new media stuff. Or maybe I should be looking at like what's happening with, like how is the world of TikTok going to change all this world of information? And I should be doing stuff within that. And so like I should be looking at that. And that's what I should go see if there's something there because I can see that trend already happening. And I should see which organizations and what roles and what skills I should be having. And then you, of course, you use your network, just like an entrepreneur does to say, well, let me call a few people. Let me ask them what they think and see if they think that's the right thing or not. And then if they go, ooh, that is really interesting. Well, would I be the right person? Am I the right fit? How would I have a competitive edge? How would I have a competitive differentiation? What would the second step be? Because one of the things about planning strategies, don't just plan the first step, plan two steps. Right? Because two steps gives you a strategic advantage. Most people tend to think, only think, oh, what's the next thing?